Batteries. We're used to finding them in our flashlights, remotes, phones, cameras, cars, boats, and even our adult-oriented toys. But apparently Elon Musk has gone and shaken things up again by suggesting that we all go and put batteries in our homes? Linus, we already keep batteries for all that crap in our homes. Ow. So Tesla Powerwall then. The premise is fairly simple. Lower your electricity costs by consuming less during peak hours and more during off-peak hours when it's cheaper and more ecologically friendly to generate it, or when paired with solar panels, reduce your reliance on your city's power grid or even sell some of the power you generate back to the local utility company. But let's open up with some criticism. At $3,000 US for a 7 kilowatt hour capacity model or 500 more for a 10 kilowatt hour capacity, power walls are expensive. But the truth of the matter is that thanks to its features, the power wall simply isn't competing with anything right now. So for anyone who would have needed a backup solution for power outages anyway, the benefits of using Tesla's batteries for this application, conserving fuel and money during peak hours and reduce reliance on the grid without being detached from it seems to outweigh the cost for many, including entities like Amazon, since the Powerwall and its industrial-sized cousin, the Power Pack, ended up selling out nearly as fast as the PlayStation 2 did. But what about the performance, detractors point out? At 2 kilowatts continuous and 3.3 kilowatts max, you can easily overpower a Powerwall with a handful of microwave ovens, and is 7 kilowatt hours or even 10 kilowatt hours really enough capacity anyway? The average North American home uses about 30 kilowatt hours of electricity per day, adding a few extra kilowatt hours for folks who really love watching the tumble dryer run, which means that it would take more than one bigger unit for pretty much any household to have enough stored energy to get through the evening with all of their devices calling for juice at the same time. So that's expensive, hey? The batteries themselves, plus installation, inverters, or solar panels depending on your setup, ugh! So why not save some serious scratch and do it yourself? Well, first off, it turns out that it takes about 10 deep cycle lead-based batteries to equal the storage capacity of a single 10 kilowatt hour power wall. And at a conservative cost of $150 per battery, that puts you at about half of the Tesla solution without having factored in electrical components, connections, maintenance costs over time, and the fact that you'd have to have the world's most understanding wife to let you wall mount a tangled mess of car batteries and wires in your garage. Secondly, with homemade units, owners are usually restricted to on-site power generation and it's at least not as easy or efficient to switch between grid and battery power compared to the power wall. But is the concept of this home battery system even practical anyway? Christopher Hellman from Forbes points out that at an estimated cost of 30 cents per kilowatt hour within the reasonable lifespan that is discharges and charges for your battery pack, most North Americans would actually end up paying far more for their power overall than if they just bought it from their electric company anyway. But I guess that's how all these things start out anyway. And while I won't be lining up to buy a power wall, I'm definitely excited for a future where energy storage is affordable and practical. Speaking of affordable and practical, FreshBooks! It's designed for freelance workers or small businesses, and it's an online accounting tool that makes invoicing, tracking hours, getting paid, tracking expenses, and getting paid. That's really important. That's why I said it twice. Actually, I just screwed up my list. So getting paid easier. All the little details like, you know, history for your invoices and seeing if your client has actually looked at the invoice yet and getting them to pay through the online service by credit card is all taken care of. So if you're your own boss, you should be using stuff that makes you feel like a boss and FreshBooks allows you to spend your time working instead of spending your time figuring out how to get paid for the work you did. So head over to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and don't forget to enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. It doesn't actually go like that. It's just how did you hear about us. It's just text. It's very straightforward, but don't worry about that.
So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment with a video suggestion if you have, well, things you want to see us cover. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and follow. Also, if you're looking for something else to watch right now, check out this video where Luke and I on our channel, Super Fun Channel, can't understand each other because we're wearing headphones. Hilarity ensues. Really, it's funnier than it sounds.